You are now listening to Playbook Radio. Here is your host, Martin Williams. And hello, thank you for tuning in to Playbook Radio. I'm your host, Martin Williams. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, and you can find all the links to the podcast at Game Plan playbook.com that's game plan playbook.com today what i wanted to talk to you about is watching your thoughts at work so when i was younger and i started you know talking a little you know out of my head <laughs> you know talking like a, a grown-up my mom would say uh something to the effect of watch your mouth right and it used to bother me because it made me feel small made me feel like a kid and no kid wants to feel like a kid Every kid wants to feel like they're grown up, right? They want the freedom and the autonomy that comes with it. But what I want to emphasize today is that just like we need to watch our words, we also need to watch our thoughts, especially when it comes to work, if we're not doing the types of things that we want to be doing. Most people find themselves dissatisfied with their jobs. And while the straightforward solution might be to quit, It's not always that simple, especially if you have responsibilities like children or a spouse to support. So what do you do when it feels like there's no way out? And that's where watching your thoughts comes in. Your thoughts are like the architects of your reality, whether you realize it or not. The way you think is crucial. And as the Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. We have an untold number of thoughts every day. But it's not about the quantity of those thoughts. It's more about the quality. So think of your thoughts as different boxes, right? If your frustration box is overflowing, you're going to find yourself in a cycle of frustration. If your desperation box is overflowing, then you're going to find yourself in a cycle of desperation and so on. It's not about what you think, but how you think. And most people create by default. They let their minds wander without any sort of discernment or checks or, you know, any type of control. They just think what they want to think all the time. And that's not always the best thing to do. Right. So I want to ask you, if your thinking has been out of control, how is that working for you? If you've been thinking the way you've been thinking for this long, has it brought the life that you want? For most people, it hasn't. So back to your job. What kind of thoughts do you want to be filling your mind with? Are you dwelling on how much you dislike your job, your boss, or the tasks that you have to do? If that's the case, it's no wonder you feel stuck. But what if you decided to think on purpose? What if you filled your mind with thoughts aligned with what you truly want in life? What if you said, I'm going to start thinking in line with who I want to be and where I want to be. And by doing this, you're creating new boxes. You're creating boxes filled with thoughts like, I'm doing what I want to do. I'm earning what I want to earn. I'm creating what I want to create. And these thoughts will lead you somewhere different and somewhere better. So thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Martin Williams. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for listening to Playbook Radio. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this podcast with family and friends. And if you're ready to take the next step in your personal development journey, consider trying mental recoding by Playbook Strategies. These short audios are designed to help you reprogram your thoughts around different life subjects, such as finances, health, work, relationships, and much more. Click the link below to explore mental recoding products to help reshape your mind.